Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here and we are Savannah bound. We are headed to Savannah and as you can see our weather is terrible. We are taking Megan to SCAD and to move into her new apartment. Good thing we have a covered vehicle because this weather just would not stop. We stopped at a Goodwill in Manchester, which is about halfway. Now, let me tell you, it's a long trip from Paducah, Kentucky to Savannah, Georgia. It's usually about 10 hours. With the weather, it was more like 12. So this was a welcome stop, but I was so disappointed. I just am more disappointed when I'm out and about at a Goodwill and I find nothing. There was nothing in here even to show you guys. That's how bad it was. So thankfully, once we got there, everything was on. The weather was beautiful. Megan has this cute little apartment in the historic district that she is super proud of. I was proud to have found us a chest before we left town at an auction for $60. This little blonde mid-century chest, adorable. And it was so cute, Mary Beth had to send her panther to go with her for the perfect touch. Here's a little clip of the neighborhood, those beautiful savanna trees. This is a little burger shop right down the block. And um, of course we did our sightseeing when we were there as well. Katie was thrilled to do that. My one thrifting uh, stop on this whirlwind trip was Picker Joe's. It was highly recommended by several people and it did not disappoint. Here is the outside of the building. Um, you can't tell by looking, but it's just fabulous on the inside. And it does specialize really in some mid-century modern goodness. Um, starting off, look at this beautiful soda fountain that's been installed here. Um, I think I was, it was not open on this, the day that I was there, but they do serve the famous Leopold's ice cream and, um, they just have all this beautiful 50s goodness to look at. Here you'll see just, you know, a wide array, just like any other antique mall of um, cute vintage items, um, antiques. And like I said, they do have a mid-century modern gallery. Um, you can follow them on Instagram and you can look at all the pictures and they update them regularly and you'll want to check out that uh, mid-century photo gallery of all the good furniture. I'm going to show you and give you a peek of what was there when I was there, but it does change all the time. I stopped here to show you these daguerreotypes and I've got it put down below there so you'll know how to spell it. I want you to watch for these if you are not familiar with them. Not only are they beautiful, uh, gorgeous photos to look at, they do uh, bring a really good price for resale. And sometimes you can still pick them up cheaply. Like I still find them at estate sales um, in the 15 and $20 range, and they will sell for upwards of 75 to $100, you know, just depending and maybe more. Um, the process was like the mid 1800s and it's copper with silver plate and it was very intricately done and so those are just something to watch out for. Now I've made my way back closer to uh, the mid-century gallery uh, that they have. Um, here's some pretty pottery that I saw and of course I love this spatter paint ashtray right up my alley with the pink and black and then the spatter print. Just adorable. Oh you guys look here's my trivets you know I had to get one of those. I am collecting these trivets and I'm gonna do like a decor idea in my living room so stay tuned to our channel uh, to see some progress coming up on that project just watching out for those trivets all the time the booths in here were all just excellent I can't wait to go back and visit Megan and go back when I have more time and visit Picker Joe's again to do some real shopping we just didn't have time to really get into it and uh 
pick up a lot and of course you know with the move and the packing but look at these glasses I love these those gazelles are gorgeous now that's what I call mid-century modern gallery space for you just a great representation look at that pair of lamps beautiful if I had all the money I would have bought those for Megan's room <laughs> those are gorgeous and of course that atomic clock perfect MCM example love it I know you guys like to see the prices so whenever I can remember I do zoom in uh, to get you a good view of the prices I was actually kind of surprised I mean these are retail prices so they there really wasn't much there for me to buy to flip but I thought the prices uh, were reasonable um, not over the top at all as far as retail pricing goes some gorgeous set of glasses there As you guys know, I'm looking for the signature, right? The Georgia Briard signature. And there's the lamps. Gorgeous. Pretty little enamel over copper plate. And wow, look at that uh, mid-century modern china cabinet. Just lovely. Love it. It's walnut. Beautiful. There's a gorgeous lamp right there. Love how it goes into the teak wood there and it just, you know, goes from that big bulbous base really thinly uh, up to the harp of the lamp. Another beautiful gallery here. The artwork is gorgeous as well as the furniture. I love that wall piece right there. I think any mid-century modern room needs one of those big, one of these big, you know, shelving units. To display all your goodies that you probably have if you love this era as much as I do. So, yeah, we had, I just had a great time. I just had to buzz through everything I saw I liked so I am really looking forward to going back and doing a more in-depth video the next time I go visit Megan and um, really get in there and see what we can find um, and go ahead and find something to flip that's going to be my goal that's going to be my project <laughs> because I know there's things in there that I've missed But yes, this Picker Joe's is only about five or ten minutes, really, from where Megan lives. And so we hopped on over. We got some pictures for you guys. Oh, look at that Murano dish. Mm, I love that. So pretty. But then we had to go back and hit the unpacking and get Megan all settled into her apartment. It is a lot of work, <laughs> as you guys are probably well aware. So we still have a lot to get done before we go back to Paducah and hit the road. Of course, we did have to make a stop at the SCAD bookstore 
Love, I love all those art supplies. And they had all the stickers and all the swag. We even got, um, we got t-shirts. Look, we even got one for little Max. He is representing the scad bumblebee there. <laughs> And we couldn't leave without a visit to the beautiful coast of Georgia, Tybee Island, um, and the ocean view condos here. I can see one of these in my future. It's a beautiful spot. Um, Megan's lucky it's 10 minutes away from where she lives, 10 or 15 minutes. And Laura Moon Woman is, lives there. Hi, Laura Moon Woman. I hope to be able to come in time um, and stay long enough for a good visit one of these days. So I want to leave you with some beautiful scenery of Tybee Island. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much as always uh, for supporting our channel. And we hope that you will stay tuned for the next one and stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. Bye everybody.